Hello everyone and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in again and I did a showcase episode recently showing off Tainted Mammon and I realise I don't currently have a thumbnail for him but I really wanted to play him on the regular series again because he was really interesting. I had a lot of fun with him and I'd like to get um, some of the completion marks done with him. I don't know if he has specific unlocks but I would imagine so. Um, and so I want to try and get some of those because yeah, I really did enjoy this character quite a bit. I think he's really, really unique. Um, a lot of interesting risk reward and he has that tainted keeper feel because of the extra items and shops which is just like really fun really really fun um everyone loves all the extra stuff you can get also extra money right off the bat here that is that is a lot of extra money right off the bat oh wow that was kind of the most incredible poop we could have hoped for right there i am very impressed so this is a slightly annoying room here just because of the amount of uh, white spiders that we're going to be coming across. I'm trying to take out things before these guys get too out of hand, but it kind of is what it is at this point. <laughs> you just got to kind of walk over them all. Oh. This, this guy's the main issue, this little blue dude, because with him being a champion, he's going to take a lot of shots to kill. And we don't have a hell of a lot of ways of killing him other than getting right in his face. But it, it works out, it works out. Get ourselves a bomb. Get our first cursed trinket. Outside of treasure rooms, cursed, um, cursed trinkets are replaced with a single penny. In treasure rooms, cursed trinkets are replaced with a... Mammon. Okay, that's just act actually, like, very bad. Because that means we can't get any from room drops. Um, and the potential for getting ones from room drops is high. I, I might just use a blackout on this room, I'll be honest. This room seems goddamn horrific. Like, that, that would have just been a penny there. That's no good to us. That's no damn good. Oh, don't, don't know why. Okay, I used a black eye anyways. I don't know why I did that. Alter your effects are removed. That's fine by me for now. Um, I just kind of stood there and accepted my fate, I guess. But hey ho. Either way, for the question of the day, what's um what's something digital that you've sold? Or something you've sold digitally that you did really well? I'm like, what's, what's a, a, a good trade deal that you managed to get? For me, I remember this is like not something crazy, but I remember... Um, Diablo 3 is a game that I absolutely love and I've played a lot of. In fact, I'm really looking forward to Diablo 4 and it's coming out pretty soon. But anyways, that used to have like an online marketplace. Uh, they ended up getting rid of it because its economy was crazy. But um, you could like sell in-game gold for real world money if you had enough of it. And there was a marketplace to sell items. And I remember once I got like a... I was like randomly farming items and I got a chest plate that sold for like... It was like a couple of hundred million gold, which was like... I can't, it was like 45 or 46 pounds in real world money and I actually like sold the gold for the money. It was like this. I just found an item in a game and I sold it for the price of the game that I was playing. I was like, holy shit, this is absolutely incredible. Can you calm down with the bombs, my guy? Holy. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Um, forced you to fire out every coin you earn. Oh, God, no. We're getting kind of unlucky with those ones. We can't take that. I love how our uh, Tainted Mammon looks. Hopefully we get one more uh, trinket from these guys. There you go, we got one there. We got another one there. It's fine, and constant drift. Really annoying, but it is what it is. Um, um, where's my shop? Where's, where's my shop? Do you know the, the one that's supposed to have the guy in it that is required for me to, where's my, where's my goddamn dude to sell stuff? <laughs> I've been scammed. Now if I take damage, I say, um, I lose a, I get a, gain a broken heart even. Okay, that was a slightly useless bomb that ended up working out. I just gained a broken heart. This is racism. I shouldn't, I, the only reason I even picked that up is because I was, under the false pretenses that I was going to be able to goddamn sell it straight away. Which apparently is a random, either a random chance for you not to be able to sell stuff, like there's a random chance that thing doesn't appear, or it was a, an unintentional bug with the Fiendfolio shop layouts or something, I don't know. That's not how that's meant to roll. Also, with the drift, this is an incredibly annoying fight. I've really got to not get hit again, because otherwise I'm getting a broken heart. Another one. I've already got one that I don't need, I don't really need. I really wish that goddamn bomb would have hit at the start. 
Yeah, now I've got to deal with this constant drift as well. I've got no tier effects too, so if I get any item that adds tier effects, that's not going to work. Okay, I will take that. That's good. Um, guess I'll take that. Take that. Okay, down we go. Uh, we'll go down to the downpour here. Why not? And in fact, I do have a mod that adds something very, very interesting and unique to the downpour. And we'll see if we end up getting it. Oh, we did! No way! The boiler. This is a new floor that's been added. We got it straight off the bat. That's awesome. Um, oh, we actually get item. Is something broken here? <laughs> or is this just how this works? Um, I'm going to re-roll this. And I'll take Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio won't actually do anything for us right now because we remove all of our tier effects. Um, yeah, new enemies here. Oh god, oh no, another broken heart added. We're probably going to die on this run, I'll be honest. The uh, the shop really screwed us over there. Also, doesn't this deal lethal damage? Okay, no, it's non-lethal damage, good. You don't do what I thought you would. But there's some feed foliar enemies and some regular downpour enemies. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. We really need the shop, like, right now. Thank you. Okay, we're dead. We're dead. Oh my god, how did I not die there? How did I not die there? Right. We don't have a key! Ah, how could I be so stupid? How can I be so stupid? What on earth is going on with this? All these smoke clouds that I'm not exactly sure how to dodge. This is really, really cool though, the boiler. Really cool new uh, new alt, alt version of downpour. A lot of effort went into this, you can clearly tell. Okay. Like a lot and a lot of effort. God damn. We got a key. Let's go back to our shop. Our shop better have the cell thing in it this time. Otherwise, I'm going to be annoyed. It does this time good. Right. We'll take whatever the random is. Spindle's decent. Treasure disc. Um, we've got Diplopia here. This isn't great. I would have liked to have bought some health here, but apparently that's not in the cards for us right now. Right. I mean, luckily, we're going to be killing stuff reasonably easy at the moment. I guess I've just got to hope I can kill the boss without dying. This is a new boss, so I'm not super sure how likely that is to happen. I've got Brimstone. I was wondering why I wasn't, like, feeling damage. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm going to take that, I think. Constant movement drift. It's annoying, but we can deal with it. Um, right. Let's keep this going. But, yeah, th actually, let's let's do the rest of the rooms here, because the boiler floor is really cool. And I want to see everything there is to see on this floor. But, yeah, there's an alt version of Downpour that got added. I'm so glad that we saw it in this video. Really, really cool. Just there. Uh, I really like those little forge lights. They're really cool. The boiler. Such an interesting idea for a floor. And the fact that there's like all unique enemies and stuff. It's just... It's a lot of extra effort that went into this. I'm very impressed. Right. All of our stuff's running out now. Let's get moving on. We've got enough money to keep us going here. Diplopia... At the minute, I'm basically thinking about Diplopia for either stealing a shop full of items, or like a devil deal, or, um, oh, look at that, or potentially using it um, to get two of one really good item in a shop. Back into the regular floor now, though. But yeah, it's all unique bosses and stuff, it's just really cool. And now we're out of that sort of stuff. Nice. Um, any projects has a larger. I'm not going to take that one because that one I've had before and it is brutal. It makes the projectiles 
so much faster. Like, not, not even just a little bit. It's like an insane amount of speed it adds to them. So that's one that I'm not going to pick up unless I need to. Um, if I actually bleed, we can take that. And then... When entering a room, you lose up to three coins. We can take that too. Right. Item room first. Oh shit. Good. Right. In here first. We take... That. Take that. Dude! Dude! Where's my guy? You can't be giving me this, this... This is the same shop layout I had before, so... Whatever corn community is... Wh wh whoever added this room, it's breaking this mod. Not good. Also, why am I permanently feared? I'm going to guess this has something to do with the, mush the, the mushroom thing I picked up. I'm hoping I'm not permanently feared for the boss fight, because otherwise I can't do anything. Right. It seems that I very much am permanently feared. Okay, no, it's, it's fine. Maybe it's just for a certain amount of time upon entering a room. Also, did that coin explode and deal a bunch of damage to you? I think it did, didn't it? A worthwhile use of a single coin in my books. But yeah, the scam of not letting me sell my uh sell my cursed trinkets is certainly an annoying one. Um Entering rooms from a random door. Doors lie about what type of room they lead to. I'm not gonna take that. I am going to duplicate both of those, and take two of those. I don't know if having two of these would do anything for us. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Grab that, and I think we can keep it moving, and hopefully get a shop that allows us to sell our stuff. Yeah, that, that must be a bug or like something unintentional because it was the exact same shop layout twice and that shop layout doesn't lay. So I think the way that this fear thing works is I'm just like feared for the first like sort of bit of entering every room. So it basically means that I just can't attack things for a little bit. Um, We don't want to take the broken compass. Got to remember that we have the, uh, the power boosting thing. Because everything has two times effect right now. Oh, that goddamn mushroom was like darkened and it bopped me into that. Little shit. Gimme, gimme. Again, we're just looking for our shop here. Just trying to find our shop. I just don't want to be sliding anymore. The slidiness is very frustrating. God damn it. I thought I said up to four. Why is there five coins this time around? At least they're able to do some damage. Spawn an active fireplace one tile away from the door and room entry. That sounds annoying as all hell, but it's avoidable. Dude, this, this thing... With all, with all my exploding coins is very, very frustrating. I need that to stop, like, real soon. I'm losing a lot of money to it right now. I don't want two of those. Definitely not. Okay. Shop was found. Oh, I walked into the fireplace. Well, I say I walked into it, dragged me into it. Right, I can actually sell stuff this time. Oh, we also got the modeling clear, which is like the best thing ever. I 
Good, good. Give me you. I'll never not absolutely love this item. Um, give me that. And then buy it as well. So we have two of them. Bad members card as well. More things to buy is definitely good for us. Unfortunately, everything there is not very good. Excuse me. I can't... I can't get out. <laughs> um, is it C21? C21. C20? Yeah, C20. I just want to give myself flight while I uh, get out of that room and then I can just remove it. Okay, I could pay into this little guy here, but they're never really worth it to me, so I'm not going to bother. Use our secret disc here. We've got um, Glitch Crown for a short while here. Could be good. Um, nice one. France Curse of the Unknown. Whatever, we'll take it. Right, down to the next floor. Yeah, Mold and Clear. Definitely one of the best shop items you can get. Super, super useful. It allows you to, the fact that it allows you to steal is, like, insanely good. That 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 makes it really good. Also, by the way, someone left a suggestion about play, when I play Tainted Kane in the future, I should just give myself this item to start. And I actually really like that idea, because it's not super overpowered, but it is still strong. Uh, minus seven luck here. We'll just take that. Why not? So shot speed is whatever. Annoying. It's not the end of the world. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm like sucking my tears towards me. It's confusing. I'm guessing this is for a vet... A Fairly decent stat increase. Press all hearts into rotten hearts. Oh, we got some sort of mapping here. No more glitch crown, sadly. I was hoping to keep that a little while longer, but hey her. Should probably go in here actually. Oh, we don't have a bomb, okay, it doesn't matter. We can't go in there easily. This room about to be hella annoying. Having to like fire backwards to use this, it's weird. I'm guessing it's just, yeah, like a big stat boost to have to fire backwards all the time. It'll, it'll be gone soon. We don't need to fret. How do we get to the shop here? I'm very com like the, the way that our map's been revealed is very confusing. I love loving stuff at things. It's so satisfying. I don't love getting hit all the time like a, like a goddamn idiot goose. Oh shit, I'm firing forward now. Oh my god. I'm gonna die because I'm confused. I'm so confused. I don't know how much health I have left, but it can't be a lot. Because I've, I've, yeah, confused myself a lot in the process of this. Oh, thank you for all the keys. We've been needing that. Good. Right, we can sell once again. No money there. Definitely want that. Quickly pop down here real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and then buy it as well, just to get really high fire rate. I'm also gonna buy this black heart, because our health isn't looking too hot right now. Good stuff, and then if we can get one more coin, which is certainly plausible, um, I'll buy that B thing as well. Ooh, hello, this could be good. It was indeed very, very good. Awesome. Got myself up back up to a very respectable amount of money by doing that. Gimme gimme. Okie dokie. Good stuff. Yeah, we got the ad adventurous sigil, whatever to call it. We're gonna get a lot of duplicated items here. This is gonna be a good run. We just, we just have to know sort of 
when to stop taking our curses, when, when, when we can chill out. At the minute, we really don't need to take curses because we're in a really good position. I do wonder late game how the curses are going to function. Oh, hello. Because, like, late game, it's not going to be um, something that matters as much. Because, like, you, you, you take all your curses, but you've got very little place to sell them. So, I'm wondering if there's different places you can sell. You have a red room here. We'll take that on. I just want to fill out this before we do. Because getting up to 99 coins, very valuable as this character. And the golden coin seems like it's trying to take us there. Or at least close. Hey, look at that. Ultra secret room revealed. And we get blood bombs, which isn't particularly amazing. But it is a HP up, which I'm pretty happy about. It doesn't give us the plus 5 bombs, though. Right. Let's go. Let's go. This run's got some sauce to it already. So like the amount of money that we have right now. It's crazy. I actually get so much money. When you get situations like this where you get a lot of money, it does take away from his gimmick a little bit, but... I mean, it's just getting lucky, I guess. I'm not going to be upset that I got lucky. Oh, God. I if I got hit there. Got you. And you. Treasure disc will pop. We got almond milk there. Thank you for that. I forgot how that works. Never remember how blink bombs work. Shouldn't be using them. Little gift, she's whatever. I'll take him. Um, we don't. We don't need that right now. Like we just don't. We got. We got enough money to make good purchases and stuff. Let's not worry about taking curses at the moment. Right, we are unfortunately going to have to deal with almond milk for a little bit here. Which isn't terrible, honestly. Almond milk isn't that bad. It's just we need to be... We need to note the fact that we're going to have to deal with it as all. Is the room not over? Oh, no. There's one, like, little chubby boy chilling over here, look. Good doing, little fella. We do have a tinted treasure room here. Check it out. Um... Move close to an enemy to inflict them with a crippling effect that caused them to take double damage. I'll give that a go, why not? Seems interesting. Rather than poison tears, we now can cripple them. How close we gotta get? It seems like pretty close, because it's not happening so far. Or at least I can't tell that it is. Really, can, can, we, get, can we get rid of Almond Milk, please? Thank you. Life would be a lot easier without it. Indeed, it very much was. Hmm, I'm not seeing the crippling effect being applied. Maybe it's just a chance? I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's something you don't even notice. Oh, I was like, where'd that spider go? He just went underneath the ground. Straight underneath. Good. Oh, damn. Not too bad. Chance to remove coins and spawn spinning pennies when an enemy dies. No, thank you. Again, we're at 80 coins right now. We don't need to be taking Curse Trinkets all too much. Unless they're just kind of freebies. Like that. That's a freebie. Range minus two is like some extra money. I don't really mind range minus two. Quickly open this up. Right. Hello, hello. Okay, so first of all, let's sell what we've got, which is not much. Then let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So we'll take Stigmata. Just drop down here real quick. Seven Seals is fantastic for that cost. In fact, I really should have duplicated Seven Seals there. My bad. Um... Body in a box is good. Take that as well. And now we don't need keys. Okay. What I should have done is use molding clay on the tainted item. Then I could have kept both. That was my bad. I definitely should have used it on seven seals though. If not for that. Although we've got a devil deal incoming. So it's better maybe save for a potential devil deal. I'm just taking this doubled. Yeah, I don't really want to take too many curses going into... The floors that don't have shops, because I'm curious to see exactly how that works. So, 
Soul Heart's lovely. I have a bomb to use on this. Eight, a double black heart. Okay, health is looking way better now. We still have those two broken hearts we got from early on. They don't go away at any point. I didn't think they would, but still. Good. We have that extra 30% damage against all non-boss enemies as well. Well, it says 30. I, I took it twice, so it might be 60. I don't know. Right, we don't really need keys for much of anything anymore. I guess I'll check out the item room. But yeah, we are killing stuff remarkably quickly, so... No, thank you. Fortunately, a terrible usage. My HP there. Right. Back this way. I hope the devil deal provides for us and we can more than clear something to get something very spicy. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this character, please do let me know because I, I really, really like this character and I could definitely see myself playing a lot more of them. Keep it moving there. Yeah, we are wrecking through enemies right now. I mean, we have really high fire rate as well, so that's certainly helping with the potential wreckage. Potential amount of wreck. Angel disc. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of a hit there, but nothing crazy. Okay, nice. And we can take whatever we want here. We'll take the, uh, the damage, I think. Actually, no, I'll take Polaroid. I'll take Polaroid. And then Devil Deal here. I will take this bad boy. And we will go. Steal that. And then we can go down. I could have, of course, duplicated the negative as well to get the damage from the negative. But I was saving out for just in case the Devil Deal had something really good. But yeah, now, now is where I'm curious as to how this goes down. So I'm assuming I'm still going to find curses from enemies. I mean, we'll, I'm sure we'll see that relatively soon, especially in a room like this. Um, but I'm curious to see um, exactly if there's any other room that could spawn that guy in that's normally in the shops. So, I would think there is. I would think there is. Because I'm always a little bit disappointed when... Um, when modded characters have this thing where they have a really cool gimmick that just ceases to exist the moment you get to the womb. Because it's like Tainted Maggie's very similar to that. Andromeda, uh, sorry, Tainted Andromeda used to be a lot like that himself. Even normal Andromeda to, to an extent. And some other characters as well. They just, they have these cool gimmicks that just kind of, even like Mastema and stuff to an extent. They have these cool gimmicks that just kind of cease to exist the moment you get to the womb. Um... So it'd be nice if this character had a way of, like, working around that. But I don't expect it to, to be honest. No other characters do that, so I wouldn't super expect it. But it just, it'd be nice to see. It's hard to balance, though, because it's like, I guess you could have shops still show up, but they cost double on the womb or something. So, something to make it so that it's not, it's not super overpowered. Still, like, allows you to play into his gimmick. And we do so much damage to basic enemies, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Boss sign. We didn't see any curses on this floor, though, thus far. We'll know if we kill the boss, because the boss always drops one, I think. Yeah, so... Oh, no, he did, he did drop one, okay. Um... I guess I'll mold and clear and then buy this just to get a level 2 meat boy. Why not? Three squeezies. Which didn't actually do anything for us. Kind of funny. Broken disc. Broken disc. Brain worm. Hell yeah. So, it's kind of an interesting idea because you, you're Yera. And it duplicates everything. I could have could have just kept my Yera for later, but whatever. Um, but unfortunately, it will not duplicate the trinket. You duplicate it to get to him unless you have flight. Which of course, we don't. 
Ooh, damn. Heals you for one heart if you have ceremonial robes. I do have ceremonial robes. Unfortunately, it doesn't really make a difference because we're not in need of healing, especially red heart healing, but still a really nice benefit to add to an item like that. I like it when items have stuff like that. Like with, um... The Martyr having extra damage if you're holding the, um, not Satanic Bible, what is it? The Book of Belial. A good little addition to a cool item. A bit of synergy going on. Yeah, at the minute we're just kind of beelining it. It seems like at this point there's really no reason apart from going hush for the shop to, uh, to take extra curses. Kind of got the whole whole ride up until the womb to sort of set yourself up ready to go. Kind of the same way as Tainted Keeper, really. The world. world. Around the world. Around the world. Just a heart? Really? Just a heart? That's not great, is it? Okay. Straight to the boss now. I'm popping these wherever I can because they do give you a pretty decent damage bonus that when stacked kind of lasts quite a while, so my bad there. Why'd I go through this room? Just realised that this was utterly pointless. Utterly pointless. Still speeding through rooms there. Oh, we do have a shop here. Okay, so my, my earlier qualms have been put to rest because yeah, there is a shop here. Yes, my earlier qualms have been very much put to rest, because these floors do have a shop. I don't know if that's a guarantee to happen or not, but I'm happy about it. I'm definitely happy about it. So, it is worth exploring the womb as this guy. They have thought about that, as I said. Nice. I really like that. It means that his gimmick isn't completely just taken away Taken care of, nice. Did you get a devil deal here? I will take this because we have broken hearts. It deals more damage based on how many broken hearts you've got. Um, and I will do hush as well, I think. I've got very low health, it's a bit scary, but gonna give it a go. Gonna give it a go. Perming is good for this fight. Thank you. Lots more money. Strength. That's actually pretty good too. We'll take that instead. Oh shit, of course. Um, oh, that, that dude just ate those. To be fair, he gave me a locust from it, so I might just do that again. Eat these up for me, dude. Oh, it's gone now. Damn. We got model rocket, some sort of battery thing here. Probably want to take the model rocket. Don't know what else is here. Model rocket I know is good. Take that as well. Okay, I think that's about all, folks. Right. Come in here. Oh, wait. I could uh, I, I could have used um, my molding player to duplicate something. Good and bleeding now. Devil disc. Nice. Whoa. Interesting attack there. Get him into his second phase. There you go. And then I'll use the strength card once he's in his second phase of this phase. It should be pretty quick. But yeah, Wrath uh, spawns these little things that we hit, these little red uh, missile sort of things. And they do more damage the more broken hearts you have. So they deal, they, they're now with five broken hearts dealing 50% of our damage. Also generating a hell of a lot of bees.
But yeah, in any moment, he'll go underground and move down to where we are. And then after that point, we pop our card. There we go. Because this takes forever, I didn't want to waste 20 seconds of our one minute on him sitting underground and moving. It's just pointless. So now we can use this. It slows him down. And we deal double damage to him. Only for a minute. It's not. We're not going to finish the whole fight in that amount of time. But we can do some good damage to him. I'm hoping we can get some of the Jars um, ceremonial dagger ones when he spawns full eyes and stuff. We'll see how often he ends up doing that. You can see, doing very good, very respectable damage so far. I wish my bees would attack a bit more though. There we go. There's one of them, there's two of them, there's three of them, four of them, five of them. And only four still. Still, now we can go pop, 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 pop. Did get hit there by accident, my bad. But that just gives us a ton of extra damage for a little while. There's three more of them over there, look. If you want to move out the way, I could go grab those and kill you with them, but I doubt you're as willing to do that as I'd be willing for you to do that. We have those to heal, remember, as well. The ceremonial blood will heal us, so we can go in there and grab those if things get too spicy. Especially once he moves, which he should do any minute now. Spawning a hell of other bees. I'm trying to utilize them, but they're not really latching. Fancy moving, big guy. Stay in the ground, big guy. Okay, he's moving now. Come on, bees, just get at him. This is hellish. Oh, God. Okay, we might die here, because I can't get to these goddamn ceremonial bottles. Yeah, unfortunately we died. Damn. That's a real shame. That was going well. It is what it is. <sighs> I wish I'd have kept a blood in my inventory. If I'd have kept one in my inventory, I'd have been fine. My bad, though, I guess. My bad. I thought we'd kill him a lot faster than that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into um, Tinted Mammon again. And we'll play some more of this guy if you like him. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.